Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Emma and if you're not new here my name is still Emma and today Owen's here and Liv's here and we <laughs> we're unpacking boxes yay these yeah. guys are here to help today's Wednesday is it Wednesday okay last night Tuesday night mum and dad came down in their camper van I was literally I'll put a photo in it was stacked up so now my job today is to unpack them so I've unpacked one of the boxes which is just like Briscoe's kitchen stuff and now we've got to build some furniture. So we actually spent the morning at Owen's house building him a desk and a chair. We can build and a a chair. chair. Liv helped with that as well. <laughs> <laughs> it would just say estimated time 40, 40 minutes. minutes to make. And, it and took... we, we started at the start of the Man United game. And by the end of the first half, we still didn't have the drawer done, did we? First step these side tables, which need to go into my bedroom. We've decided to undo them in the garage so that we can leave the rubbish here. That was Genius over here's idea. This is the glass panel for the top, so we need to take that off. And then that's the actual bedside table, which will match my bed head, hopefully. Oh, that's smart. I can we keep that? Steering wheel, hot day. Chuck it over. Won't burn your hands. All right, we've put them in. I reckon they suit the bed head pretty well. Do you reckon? I reckon they look pretty good. They're kind of a little bit smaller than I was anticipating, but they're in. This was also something that mum and dad bought down yesterday it's my mirror it's actually an ikea mirror now i gotta call those mirror look how big it is it's massive it's huge okay this next one this is what we have now that's literally out of my auntie's camper van that is not staying this and this let's unbox have you even seen this in person yet before your fans ask you want to explain that Behind you? This? No. This? Yeah. It's actually Rachel's. And it doesn't fit in our line. She just stitches someone else up. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it, it's so cute! Oh, it's massive! Right, now I need to put it in the corner. Where are they going? Not in here. The real test is how loud is in water when you boil it. This is our next little challenge, and that is exactly the same as the dining table. Ta -da. All done. We've we'll just left so she doesn't get caught up in the traffic, but it's time to make this bookshelf which matches the dining table and coffee table situation here. Let's go. There we go. I'm gonna get a clock to go there from Kmart, but they didn't have it in stock. We went in yesterday and I'm like, hey, it says like you've got it in stock. Where is it? And then the guys, like, I'll go to the back and have a look. And then someone ordered all six that were left in stock and one clicked in the left order. So we're gonna have to wait for that, but in the meantime, we have a beautiful shelf with nothing to put on it. Actually, no, I lie, I have cookbooks. I've gotta put those on now. Now I have these dining chairs to build, which are exactly the same as these ones, except these four I managed to get as a set off Facebook Marketplace, which are also from Mocha. So I just got another two to go with it, so now I need to build them. Hello guys, another day. And I realized I never showed you guys the dining chairs that I finished making. So they look exactly the same as what I already had. And one of them is actually missing because dad is using it as a clothes horse outside to dry his towel from the bathroom. But the other one is down here. When we first put them together, we like, there's like an angled bar that runs from there to there and there to there. And we put them like around the wrong way. So the legs were like, instead of going outwards, they were like going like inwards. But today we are going, well, mum and I are going to Spotlight and 
Harvey furnishings and curtain studio. Anyway, we're going to a few curtain places to see if we can find curtains because we've got two ranch slider doors in the house that we want to put curtains across. The rest of them we're all doing just like Venetian blinds. But we want to do curtains for like the actual doors so we can like pull them across and go outside and stuff. So we need to go find curtains for those. We were hoping that we could get like some pre-made ones from Spotlight. But because we have a really high ceiling stud here, we can't really just buy standard stuff because the height of our doors is literally the height of a normal ceiling. Most of the curtains you get that are pre-made from Spotlight and stuff are only 2.2 meters high whereas our whole entire door is 2.2 meters high which doesn't work because you need to put it like above on the rail and that allow the drop. Anyway, so we need to go find some curtains that are either going to fit or we have to go get some made. We're thinking some grey curtains to kind of match either this or this sort of type colour but yeah anything sort of like gray and then we're going to do like a sheer as well because the sun comes in in the afternoon here and we need to like protect the floorboards also i don't think i showed you guys these in the previous video i just got them from kmart just to like fill up the space a little bit better and put it like a divide between the dining and the living area i think it looks really cute i also bought a rug for here which is coming but it's coming from the us which i didn't realize because the new zealand website so that'll be here soon <laughs> So we went to Curtain Studio and this lady was really helpful and she gave us a whole heap of samples for some sheer blinds and then a curtain, which is one I really, really like. Alright, so that's the curtain. That's like a grey sheer and then that's more of like a white sheer. Decided that we didn't like the texture in these two shears. You can't really tell, but there's two different ones there. So we've decided on this curtain, which I remember was called the Aspen curtain. Not sure what the colour is, but stone. There we go. Aspen curtain and stone. And then that's just a sheer. Here we go. A the breeze shears and chalk. When you stand back, it looks like the curtains kind of match the couch. My $300 Facebook Marketplace couch, guys. Shout out to Emerson, I think you watched my videos. There you go, if you're wondering where your couch is, that's where it is. Also, I don't know if many people really know this, but because I don't really talk about it a whole heap because it's kind of like, it happened a long time ago. Um, I'm just going to sit you guys there on top of the spear jug. But I'm now 18, I turned 19 this year, and when I was 16, 16? Yeah, when I was 16, I started an interior design course, which I finished when I was 17. So I'm actually technically a qualified interior designer, believe it or not. So this honestly is like, so much fun for me, I've been having an absolute blast. So yeah, it's called cool BHE finally after like nearly over two years, over two years, two and a half years, I'm finally able to put what I learned doing that course into practice. Right, we're taking these for a walk into my bedroom and we're gonna see what they look like on my ranch slider. So excuse the cute curtains that mum and dad have up at the moment. I actually am not, those actually kind of suit my room. They kind of do, but they're also pretty ugly at the same time. That, is how it looks in here it does not match that whatsoever i have blue curtains at home that do not match my pink bedding whatsoever <laughs> so i think i can make do with the gray curtain all right guys it's like i don't know seven ish right now and my parents have got home from work and we've spent like the last 20 minutes going all around the lawn trying to pick up like rocks and stuff because since there's like a new build house there's just like rocks and stones everywhere and so uh we're picking up the rocks and the stones because I'm about to mow the lawns. Have my lawn mowing attire on. Looking real fancy. Time to go mow the lawns. Haven't done this in a very long time. The last time I mowed the lawns, I couldn't even push the lawnmower up the hill at home. So, let's go. We have to do it I love how he says, Emma, come, come mow the lawns. Hello guys, it is Saturday morning and yes this video is supposed to be up in 40 minutes but I've just finished editing, I just started like an hour ago. Obviously back home in Auckland momentarily for Owens football today but I didn't want to close off this vlog because it ends very abruptly with me mowing the lawns. So mowed the lawns, it was fantastic, did a really good job, just gonna say. The house is fairly much set up now, just waiting like for a few things like the curtains and that rug in the lounge. But apart from that, we're making progress. Obviously, we're not all living there just yet, so I will, as I continue to just do little bits and pieces here and there, show you guys as I go, kind of, maybe, I don't know. Also, I did want to mention and say, and tell you guys, 
that there will be a house tour coming in like late February, early March, just waiting for like all the girls to move in. That's why I don't want to show too much at the moment. I know as a viewer, I would be like, just show us the house, but just it'll come. So just subscribe and you'll see when it comes. If you made this far in the video, comment a house emoji and yeah, stay safe and stay well. And I'll see you in the next video. You got anything to say on? No. All right. Catch you guys later. Are you talking to me or the fans? Oh. Ah, okay. Oh, do I not count as a fan? Yeah. Boo. It's fine, I'm just giving in the rundown about how I'm a professional. At least hour, just smack my ankle. It's still going. Awesome.